when I think about the incredible vastness of space, I imagine the possibilities. NASA helped all of us discover what's possible. The historic Apollo missions were a catalyst for the space industry. This inspired an entire generation of young engineers. We realize that Earth is a small town with many neighborhoods in a very big universe. And by working together, we can accomplish what seems to be impossible. Now, NASA needs your help. Help NASA start building shared libraries of SysML elements so that it can become easier and more consistent for us to build space mission architecture, um, an aero mission architectures in a tool like Magic Draw. I based my examples and um, list of components that we would like to build this library with for this challenge from this habitat project, uh, which was a pathfinder. So this project's definitely not perfect. It was a, a work in progress done to help some different um, NASA employees learn SysML and learn modeling habits and learn what we could do with it. So what I've taken in the files uh, is some sort of context diagrams. So this is the domain of the habitat. Um, and there are a few more files in there, um, like the ECLSS architecture, um, and a few others that will help you kind of get some context for what we would be doing with the elements to create an architecture. Um, it's, you are welcome to model any of the elements that you see in these diagrams, but primarily it is the technical structure where I've captured screenshots of this containment structure that we want to get modeled here. Um, so there are these structure elements and I basically opened all the subsystems up and took screenshots of it, like what's in avionics, what's in ECLSS. Um, so here you can see the different subsystems that I've opened up and taken screenshots of. And additionally, there was some work done in functions and we would like to get to a place where we have functions elements as part of our libraries so that we can connect those, we can allocate functions. So here's some of the allocation work that was done in this model. Um, so some of these parts have activities like ECLSS as those um, activities areas. And I have taken some screenshots of those to give you some sample functions um, in case you want to try also modeling functional elements and they do not have to be activities that's how we've done it here um, but they can be any kind of element if you it'll help if you show us how that can be useful and how you might show that that's allocated to uh, the different elements um, that are structural that are uh, physical elements so here you can see the functions are allocated to different parts of the physical architecture. So so here are the files that I've actually attached to this challenge. It's some of these overviews, um, the environment architecture to see where this 
it lays. Um, and we want to have access to those things too. It's not required to model this, but uh, you can. And some other things that we do um, for context, use case diagrams to show what, so that's part of um, functional decomposition. Um, so it's possible to to model some of that if you have ideas about how to show what pieces are doing what functions. Domain, this is more of the whole architecture of the habitat. So it's easier to understand what, what pieces lie where. And then the rest of these go through the technical structure. So I'm just scrolling down in these. And then I went through the ones that have activities defined. Just a few of them have activities defined. If you want to give samples activities or just call them function one or whatever for a different part of the architecture, that, that would be welcome too. So that's an overview of what we have here um, submitted for this challenge and we hope to hear and see a lot of great ideas about how we can have a, a library of these kind of elements to use in, in creating and um, analyzing different kind of space architectures, starting out here with a space habitat.